December 8th started out like any other day for 12-year-old Stephen Winters of Beaver Grove. Stephen struggling to open a new pair of boots grabbed a lighter to burn through the elastic tie that bound them together and accidentally caught his shirt on fire in the process. He spent an hour or so in the emergency room before he was rushed to Ann Arbor for third-degree burns on his torso and abdominal area. Within a week's time, Stephen underwent two skin grafting procedures to help repair damaged skin on his neck, chest, and stomach. In order to help raise funds for the various expenses attached to his accident, Stephen's family and friends came together Tuesday night for a spaghetti dinner bake sale and silent auction at the Masonic Building in downtown Marquette. Stephen's grandfather expressed gratitude to everyone who pitched in to help them out during this trying time. And all our friends, everything just came up, um, this has been just perfect. As far as for the fundraiser and everything, it's just perfect. We have so many people pulled together for us. It was so fast. They needed money kind of quickly, so we did have a whole bunch of time to put it together, and everybody just worked super fast, and it was just perfect. You know, we've got so, so many people that really cares. Stephen is on the road to recovery and will spend 13 months in a full body suit, but his family said he is optimistic. As Stephen's doing his part, he's, oh, he's, he's been so tough. You know, they got it. He didn't even hardly cry at all. He's been just a real trooper. <laughs> we're just going to support him and we're going to take care of him and get him in all the rehabs and everything and they help him going back and forth to, to Ann Arbor. And we're going to just stick by him as much as we can and do the best we can as a family. There is no word yet on when Stephen will be able to come home. If you're unable to make it to the dinner but still want to help the family out during the holiday season, you can visit our website at abc10up.com to find a link to a GoFundMe page set up for Stephen.